Hey, this is Richard with Dice University, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can make a hundred dollars a day using CPA marketing. This video is brought to you by Landerize.com. Create highly optimized landing pages in minutes. Get your 14-day free trial in the description below this video. All right, so CPA marketing is cost per action marketing, uh, where we as affiliates get paid for specific conversion events. When those conversion events occur, we see commissions occur in our dashboards, right? It's really that simple. Now, getting to $100 a day, it may initially seem daunting. You know, if you're a completely new affiliate, maybe you're a beginner, maybe you've never done any online marketing before and maybe you've never even made a dollar online as well so the thought of making a hundred dollars a day pretty much automated must feel like almost like a dream now there is a very clear process for you to actually make that work i'm going to show you essentially how you know you can get to that goal so the first thing you want to do is you want to have you know be signed up to a newbie friendly network Max Bounty, ClickBank, uh, and there's several more that you can sign up to. And once you're part of this network, you will have a variety of different affiliate offers that you can use to promote and you can use to start making money. Now, let's just do some basic maths. If you get to $100 a day, that means that you're selling maybe one product, right? That has a payout of $100, two products, you make two sales of a product that has, that has a payout of $50. You make four sales of a product that's a payout of $25. And you pretty much get the point. But let me just make sure this is clearly mapped out for you. So, let's drag this over here. So one sale, PO is payout, that equals $100, right? Or you could do two sales, at $50 payout to get to that $100 mark. Or you could do, you could even do three sales, right? Three sales at $33. And what's important here is that the lower the payout, the easier it is to convert. By the same time, you need to then have more customers, you know, more sales on a daily basis. So it does kind of balance itself off. Right, um, so then four sales, $25 payout, and we got five sales, $20 payout, and I'm just going to skip right forward to 10 sales. With only a $10 payout conversion, right? Super simple. And then let's go over to like, even like a sweepstake, right? A sweepstake offer, get you to $100 a day. But let's put it at 100, you know, conversions. Because it's not really a sell with that. So anyway, so you get the point, right? This is all like a laddered up system where, you know, from one sell you can get, you know, you can get to that $100 a day target, you know, two sales, if it's at $50 payout, you can get to that target and it goes on. Now, you just need to find the product and once you know the product and the payout, you need to now obviously align the goals to get you to that $100 mark, right? So inside of ClipBank, I can see there's a variety of different offers, all with different payouts. So if I go to like health, the payouts will increase. So if I go to like United States, and if you put health, we're gonna see some quite high um, payout offers. So you can see $85, $72, $88, $144, $95, $55, $80. 
So we can see like, you know, you may need like one sale, uh, maybe two sales and you already surpass your target yeah, in a single day, okay? Then it's like, okay, now I know, you know, what product I want to promote. I know how much it's going, you know, how many sales I need to generate. How do I get the traffic and how does that flow actually look like, right? How do I actually get them to convert? Now, this part, you can actually reverse engineer and this is called inverse thinking, all right? Typically, people have a mindset where, you know, you have that goal and you have a goal in mind and you're like, you know what, this is what I want to do and this is, you know, I want to get to this goal, right? Which is good and there's nothing wrong with having a goal. But I like to incorporate inverse thinking into my practices, right? And inverse thinking essentially means that you are working backwards. So you're telling yourself, all right, what is going to stop me from getting to $100 a day, all right? Then you start to question the why. Like, what is going to stop me from getting to $100 a day? Okay, if I don't make um, at least one sale with this $100 product, then I won't get to $100 a day. Then you say to yourself, okay, what will stop me from getting one sale a day for this specific traffic, tra uh, offer? And then you say to yourself, okay, I don't get enough traffic to the offer, to the landing page, right? You may ask yourself again, I don't get enough click-through rates on the landing page to, to actually visit the offer, right? Then it's like, okay, on the offer page, I don't get enough conversion because they, they, they weren't warmed up enough. So then you're like, okay, how do I warm them up? How do I warm up the traffic? Then you say, how do I make sure I got a good CTR on the landing page? Then you say, how do I make sure that I get enough traffic from the traffic source by having good creators? Now you're asking the right questions and you're on the right track. And when you answer these questions, you'll get to that hundred dollar day mark. It's not that, it's not that difficult, but it's difficult for people to think like that. You know, there's always some mystery like, wow, is this is some crazy like ninja stuff. Like, you know, only some guru can do this. Like a hundred dollars a day is not that much money. I just want to make that clear. Um, and that's not me trying to shit on anybody who's making less than that. It's just that you need to have a mindset where you will have abundance, not scarcity, because then you think about things in the correct way. So you don't want to look at $100 a day as a huge, huge target, because really it actually isn't, right? Anybody who's making any money with affiliate marketing also understands that. Now, let's say that you have started to think about, you know, what the things are that you need, right? You're asking yourself the right, right questions. Now, how do you get access to that information where you now know, okay, these are the creators that I can use to get a good CTR. This is the type of landing page I can use to get a good click through it on the lander and warm up the traffic. You gotta use some level of intelligence to give you an advantage with that process. You can do it all on your own, or you can do things a smart way and give yourself a big, big shortcut. And I recommend, you know, you know, having a, a smart method of doing anything, right, where possible. So I'm going to show you guys a tool, and you guys should already know this from some of the other videos, but a tool which I like to use when I'm running on native ads and promoting products like with, Clip, with, sorry, like with Max Bounty products, um, just so I can reverse engineer that process and really understand, you know, what people are doing to A, drive traffic in terms of like the creators on the ads and B, also, you know, drive, you know, warm up the traffic on the landing page and drive a good landing page clip through rate by having a good landing page experience. So um, let's just, let's just, let me just show you some examples of this. So I'm inside of Ad Adplexity right here. Let me just close that down. So this is a tool. Gotta be careful that some of the content is compliant for YouTube, some of these ads. So these are all campaigns that other affiliates are running right now, all right? These are affiliates that, in for the, majority, for the most part, as long as I've got seven days plus, they're most likely making some money, okay? Now, let's say I wanna run with Max Bounty. One thing I could do is I can go on the left-hand side and the filtering section, where is it? I can then go for Max Bounty. So where are you? Here we are. So there's 145 campaigns um, from Max Bounty inside of this network, right? I'm um, sorry, inside of this, this tool. And what I want to do is I want to put receive most traffic. So I want to see what campaigns are affiliates sending the most traffic to. Whoops, let's not let that load up. Then I can see, okay, cool. This natural skin remover made surgery obsolete. All right, cool. 
23,000 hits. All right, now I don't wanna look at things that worked well six months ago. I wanna look at things that worked really well in the past month, potentially. And I wanna see if there's any results for that. So what I wanna do is put that to 28. It's 28 days. And let's see. Okay, cool. So this campaign was run in the past month, right? Good sign. So it means that if I also swipe any of those flows in, this, in that campaign, most likely, if it was working, which it most likely was based on the amount of traffic this affiliate sent to it, then I could still, you know, utilize that in my future tests. So what I'll do is I'll open up this campaign right here. Okay, just wait for that to load up. And cool, okay, I see this affiliate is using a landing page. And what I really want to find out is, you know, what offer are they promoting? So they're using an advertorial, advertorial landing page, right? So let's take a look. Okay, standard advertorial. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Basic stuff, really. I don't want to go in that because I mean, that looks pretty like nasty to me. But anyway, um, it's obviously a skin product. But I don't know what the product is just yet, but I think it's called Skin Cell, right? So if I click on this, we may be able to go to the offer page. No, I think this is because it's a US offer. Yeah, so it's a US offer. So I saw Skin Cell on this page. Where is it? Yeah, Skin Cell. So that's obviously the product. So I'm just gonna go into Max Bounty. And I'm just going to search Skin Cell. And here we are, Skin Cell, right? Skin Cell Pro, $80 per lead, okay? So now I know this is where I can find the offer. This is how this affiliate is promoting the offer using this landing page, right? Um, and they combine this landing page with this specific campaign, right? They got this like ad, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, all right. Then I can look into more details, right? I'm like, I don't want to just stop there. I want to find out some more. So then, what I can then look at is, okay, where are they getting the traffic from? Content .ad. This is where this affiliate is running, buying their traffic from. Um, then I can see, okay, where are they actually buying traffic from? What sites? What widget IDs are they buying site, uh, traffic from? Okay, these are the top 10 sites that they're buying traffic on. All right, and these are the top 10 widgets as well. I have my whitelist. All right, that's, that's, that's it. I've now fast-tracked the whole process, okay? Then I can then look at, you know what? I wanna give myself even more of an advantage, right? What devices is this affiliate running on? Okay, I can see the split. 29% desktop Windows, 70% desktop Mac. Right, so a big chunk of traffic is going on desktop. Um, but at the same time, we're seeing Android getting a decent amount of traffic, around 25%. And we're seeing iOS get around 28%. Right, so it's, just, it's kind of like an even split. Slightly more for mobile, but fairly even split between mobile and desktop, right? Okay, so then, you know, I pretty much have my, you know, campaign, right? So what I would then do is I'd go to content.ad, right? Let me just try and pull that up. Content.ad, let's see if you can load that up. Oops. All right, so what I do is I'd go here, whoops. Not sure why the site looks like it's broken. <laughs> anyway, so I'd go to content.ad and let me just make sure this is the right content.ad. I'm just gonna go through Google, right, it's on content ad. Just in case, you know, there's some fake sites out there. All right, yeah, it is, I guess the site is broken. Anyway. So I'd go here and I would essentially sign up to become an advertiser, all right? And all the things I've been learning from this 
right here, I'd plug in to my campaign. Then I look at this landing page, right? Right here, I look at how it's, it's styled. Then I'd head into Landerize, right here, and I'd go into landing page templates. And I'd see, you know, which template is matching this particular um, campaign the most, right? So it's advertorials. First of all, I need to look at these advertorials. Okay, so these are the advertorials that I have inside of here, right? And there's like a, this, this new advertorial, right? Then I can do a cross-reference, okay? So I look at this one, I look at that one, I'm like, okay, I can see, I can see how I can make that work. And I can see, okay, on the right-hand side, they have all those kind of like testimonial type of things, right? Then I'll be like, okay, cool. I can then just update this, this template with the images and the copy and the logo and boom. Now I have this landing page without any of the dirty scripts that this affiliate probably has put on it, if they're smart. Right. Uh, and that's one thing to know about native and I want to make sure you guys are being careful uh, you know when you're downloading landing pages from these other um, from like Adplexity right if I was to click here and if I was to go to download this landing page these landing pages if they're good volume affiliates they will have scripts on them that you probably cannot find with your naked eye unless you're a developer right then these landing pages could send 20% of the traffic that you're buying back to this affiliate, okay? Because there's some smart things you can do. So um, just be careful if you're doing that, that approach by downloading, um, because there are some scripts that, you know, even I would put on my landing page to keep myself safe and make sure that anyone that's trying to steal it um, is giving me back some money, right? They're paying me some rent for using my stuff, right? Um, so you wanna make sure that you know, you're not being a victim of those situations as well. So anyway, this is, you know, walking you through, you know, how you can get to $100 a day, right? By, you know, promoting these CPA offers. You know, you can find these offers inside of Max Bounty directly, or you can just head into Adplexity, put in like the network, like Max Bounty, and just look through the offers and see how they're being promoted. Then you can double down on the offer, all right? And my suggestion is that when you're starting out, you're not stuck to any offer, you're not bounded to any specific niche, um, find out what works and just replicate that and just make money, right? For this product that we're looking at, two sales and already more than, you know, almost double my target for the day, right? Um, because it's $80 per, per conversion here, all right? So what's important here is make sure you do your research have some inverse thinking, right? Think about the whys, think about what, what's gonna stop you from succeeding with this, as opposed to what's gonna get you there, right? It sounds counterintuitive, but trust me, just take a second, well, take um, you know, 10 minutes just to think about what you're trying to achieve, and then start, start thinking about what's going to stop you from getting there, because that's the most important part of this whole process, all right? I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment too, and I'll see you guys in the next one.